Hey Kydex peeps, it's Tony with Alameda Holsters. Guys, questions about the dual layers, people having problems uh, removing it. I thought I covered it. I probably didn't on uh, one of the videos. I'm gonna cover it now. Um, okay, when you do a dual layer, you're gonna use 0.06. You can go 0.08 if you want. It's gonna be a pretty thick holster. Uh, both of these are 0.06. Um, I when I wrote this one, okay, 0.06. It's flimsy. It's crazy to think that holsters were made out of this, and you can make wallets out of this. The real fan, they're gonna hold up, but I would definitely not holsters. They're gonna something's gonna give on the holsters. Uh, but anyway, what you do is like this one, Glock 19, 23, and when you're forming, okay, you've got these two pieces of cut. What I do is. These two pieces are in the oven, usually eight by eight, eight and a half by eight and a half, whatever. Okay, boom, they come out of the out of the oven, and the first thing you got to work fast. The first thing I do is you need first off you need to be thinking and don't think about anything else but what you're dealing with. Don't be thinking about the dog, the wife, the wife's boyfriend, your girlfriend, that kind of stuff. Just think about what you're trying to do. So. First thing that comes out is the carbon fiber, because that's an outside. I lay it flat in my coffee bum press, and then I immediately grab Armor All, and you could use like Pam or something. I spray it, like, I mean, it's quick. Spray, grab my red, because that's the interior color, grab my mold, and go to town. And what this does, it acts as a release agent, so when it comes to pull them apart, it hasn't uh, bonded in any way because with the heat it will bond and you'll never get these apart. You can try and try. But I like to take mine apart because what I'll do is I'll take it apart. It's real easy. Then I kind of get my first shell done, come in, wrap it, and then get my second shell. Okay. Then when I'm almost done with it completely, I'll break out the... I use the gel. I was using that uh, M Weld from Knife Kits, but it's it, it, you can't control it like you can control the gel. So I use the gel, and then what I do is I just apply it along the sight channel on the red, and then I apply it just kind of the areas that I think they're gonna need it, and uh, then I grab all my little clamps. And I hold it together for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or something, then take them off. You might have some excess glue, which will buff right out. So, um, and then your hardware will keep, you know, these two areas pretty secure. So, that between the two layers. Guys, that's all I got. Good luck with your projects. Don't burn yourself. And as always, subscribe and peace.